Hello from day six. <laughs> we had a little rough morning. <laughs> yeah, so we woke up and uh, noticed our clothes that were on the clothesline were still soaking wet. I guess it's really, really humid overnight. Nothing can really dry. And then, um, yeah, so we're definitely in soaking wet clothes right now. And no sun out. Looks like it might rain today. Can't really get the rain on the phone right now, so. Heard some thunder in the distance. We'll see what happens. Um, spirits are still good, you know, waking up just first morning of like, oh, it's <laughs> all right, rain's coming, we gotta deal with it. But, um, but uh, yeah, so we're gonna start trekking and see how far we go. We need to definitely pick up the pace now because we were looking at our food rations and yeah. uh, they're dwindling. <laughs> I don't know, if we stick to the, the rate we were at, we might have like three days left till our resupply and we probably have like a day and a half of food. So we're going to try to put in 15 miles today, hopefully. We looked at the thing last night and there's like one at 10 miles, one at 13, one at 15 for the shelters and the tent sites. So hopefully we make it to the 15 one. But a uh, little bit of a mountain we just looked up. We're going up and down a really steep mountain and then uh, kind of flattens out after that. So we'll see how we're feeling. Yeah. Boy, good note is that we fell asleep relatively earlier yesterday. So instead of 11 p.m., it was like 10. And we woke up earlier. So we woke up at, I think, 6, right? Somewhere around there. 6. And we're hiking now, and it's 8. So we're two hours earlier than our other two, three days we were out here. Four days. And, um... So yeah, we're hoping that will help our chances to make the mileage. And um, we want we want to really change our schedule to be more of a through hiker schedule with 9 p.m. Yeah, with 9 p.m. going to sleep, waking up at five. Some people are up at 4:30. I've seen. Yeah, we noise people up at 4:30 in the morning. So we're going to slowly transition our schedule to that to help us with the mileage. And I think all these little factors are going to add up to make a successful through hike. Alright. Oh, and uh, I, w I was cold earlier. But since I started hiking, I'm getting warm now. So the wet clothes aren't much of a bother anymore. Which is a great thing because I was getting kind of sad about it. This is our first love viewpoint of the day. Who do we have here? He looks kind of big, doesn't he? Yeah, that's that little dog. Oh, we just passed by a viewpoint where we were able to sneak a call to my mom and Mike texted his family. So I'm glad we were able to do that. There's another mountain that I'm going to look forward to. I can't pronounce the name, but it's supposed to be really nice. I'll show you guys when we get there. We just came across this beautiful viewpoint. The Nisanta Bunt Mountain. Okay, looking down at, looks like, Namakanta Lake. And it's gorgeous, it's gorgeous, gorgeous. Huge lake. It's way over there. I see another one way in the distance out there too, all the way past. Oh, yeah. The horizon. Too. Awesome, what a cool view. Videos never do it justice. In person, it is so, so magnificent. Yeah, and it's clouds, they're thundering at us. <laughs> really deep thunder, it's rolling in, it's coming quick. We got a big downslope coming, so we'll see how that goes in the rain. This is awesome. Yeah, we're gonna take a we'll little snack. lunch break here, we'll a little snack, <laughs> and uh, continue on. Something really disappointing just happened. We were still chilling in this beautiful viewpoint when I was taking out my food from my book bag and putting everything back in a hurry because I kept thundering. I knocked down our on my cook pot down with the stove and canister and lighter. Pretty much down the cliff. But it went off the cliff. It went off the cliff. But somehow it burst open <laughs> while it was going down. <laughs> And the stove was reachable to us. I mean, <laughs> sketchily against the tree. Yeah, like right down there. I and Mike went for it. So we I still have our trees. stove. 
<laughs> but we lost my cook pot, the lighter, and the fuel canister. It was all our only fuel canister. So we're eating we're some gonna food. be cold soaking for the rest of the hundred miles. I've days. been doing that anyway, so it's okay. With me. Mike has been doing that, but mm. I just I like the little pleasures in life of having huge right, food. Our first, our first mishap. Oh God, it was all mm. my fault too. Mm. Such a drag. Mm. I can't believe it. I'm definitely going to be a lot more careful, especially on the cliff when shit could just fall down. So we came up with a plan, and it is to call the Appalachian Shaw Hassan Outfitters, and hopefully they could give us a fuel canister with the food drop that they're planning on delivering to us today. They're going to go hide in the woods today and we're supposed to pick it up tomorrow. So, but we're not, we're not like close to actually pick it up tomorrow. Like since we're behind mileage, we have to, we're gonna probably pick it up in two days. But anyways, hopefully they'll be able to add a fuel canister to our food drop if they haven't left already. It's 10 in the morning, so hopefully they didn't. I'm just gonna try to go get a call out to them. The beautiful people at the Appalachian Trail Hostel and Appalachians are coming through for us. They already did, in fact, drop off our food, but they're going to do another drop tomorrow, and so they're going to sneak in another canister in our package since we're not gonna get it for another two days. So thank God about that. And so we're going to have fuel in like three days, two days. Just not tonight. But, and also, I just remembered, I have this thing that came with my pot. So, I have like a bowl still, which is nice. Right now, I have some electrolyte mix. And we're still on the cliff though, so we're about to leave because um, I don't trust myself next to a cliff. Hello, you will not believe what just happened. The craziest thing just happened. We were walking down, very sad <laughs> about the whole ordeal. And then we see two nobles at the intersection there before turning off to the uh, cliff edge. And they're just there at their packs and we have a little chit chat with them. And uh, well, we let them know to be careful at the cliff because you know, things may fall. <laughs> And um, they told us that they actually had a fuel canister with a, a little bit of fuel and they have a brand new one. So they're willing to give us that fuel canister that they had so that we could have a fuel canister that we just lost. Yeah, we were like, no, that's okay. That's okay. We can make it. But, you know, they were really insistent that they didn't need it. So that was really cool. We got a, another little bit of fuel for some food coming up. It's awesome. Should last us till our resupply. And then they even said that if we get to the next shelter coming up, well, I thought I saw it for a second. <laughs> but uh, there's a whole bag of food that somebody left <laughs> just a little bit ago, and it's got instant mashed potatoes and stuff in it. So uh, got a little pep in our step right now to see if we can get there because, like we said before, our rations are kind of running low since we were, you know, slacking on our days. Um, looking forward to that. Hopefully, yeah. it's there. So we're only gonna take like very little. Yeah, whatever exactly. we need just, for just like one day. Um, but it's just really nice to know we won't go hungry. Um, I mean, we have been pushing ourselves, so we're I feel to like get... we're feel like we're not being like necessarily lazy. We're just being preventive with injuries because yeah. we have been feeling our legs a little bit. But we're feeling good today, and we're really trying to push. So. Yeah, we'll I see. just want to shout out the two nobos, uh, the guy that gave us a fuel canister. His name is Waldo. Yeah, Waldo, thank you so much for the fuel canister. I was like amazing. really bummed out, and now I definitely <laughs> feel a lot better. I just I just can't believe how the trail really does provide in that way. Yeah, our first trail magic. Yeah, first trail magic, <laughs> and it was. Right on the trail, unexpectedly, like just when 50 we start, feet from where yeah, we just, just dropped it. Just when we started to need it, bam, yeah. provided. So insane. And um, awesome spot right here. Yeah, but and then the lady, I think her name was Kansas Rose. Yes. Yeah, she was so cool. She's a section hiker, doing it for nine years. So mm -hmm. they're both an awesome pair. She's on her last that. section of the whole thing. Yeah. Pretty cool. So very cool. Look at the spot behind us. We're in the. Looks like the Amazon or something. It's crazy. Just a whole different setting here with all these cliffs and lots of cool droopy. Stuff all over everything. Look what we got here. He's got three a little, critters in one image. He's got a slug on his back and he's about to push him off under the branch. But he's chasing something that's hopping. A frog. It's a frog? Yeah, it's right there. Oh, I mean, it's it's oh, a tan frog. I see the frog. 
Look at this. He finally got out the branch. But looking at his shell, it's like little points. So crazy. Oh my gosh. We made it to the shelter that we've heard about. We heard there's some food here. We haven't passed any other northbounders. So we're thinking there's going to be a nice safe bag of food here. Which, like we said, we just want some potatoes and some things to keep us. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I can't believe it. Look at this. I, oh yeah, I can see it in there. There's some cookies or something. I don't know. I think we gotta open this thing up and see. Obviously we're only gonna take what we need because like we said, we might be here for another three days. We got like a day worth of food. <laughs> we'll leave everything else, you know. No uh. Guys, there's also a fuel canister. <laughs> oh man, alright, we're we're happy. We are rejuvenated right now. This is great. This is literally the most insane <laughs> haul ever. Talk look about how much trail magic. There is. Oh <laughs> like when my we God. when we need it. Oh my look God. How many? This is insane. Oh. I cannot believe it. Yo, God bless whoever left this. Seriously. Seriously. Whoever did this, where are we? I don't even know. Shelter. I'm gonna read it real quick. Oh. It is Wadley Stream Lean To. Wadley Stream Lean To on July oh. 15th. If you were the one that left that there, you, saved you are a miracle worker. We, like I said, we, you know, we have maybe another two to three days and one day of food. Look at this guy. He's like, damn, I was oh. eyeing that the entire time. <laughs> <laughs> damn! <laughs> wow. Wow. We'll Alright, guys. take like one of these each or something. Yeah, and that's There's a it. lot in here. Yeah. We'll just take one each. Oh, man. But wow. What a relief. Thank you, thank you. All right, we just drifted away from the shelter. That was really cool. We got to see a bunch of southbounders. There were about four of them that stopped there. Got to chit chat with them a little bit. First southbounder talk experience. Really, really cool. Hope we get to see a lot more on our journey. Um, yeah, they told us that there was a little beach we could stop at, and here we are. It's a little pebbly one. I think we missed a turn for the sandy one, but anyway, look at this gorgeous day. Awesome, it's sunny right now. We are getting a little bath, <laughs> washing off the feet. I got a little wash of the knee where my knee brace has been on for days. Washed out the face and the hair. I don't really think we want to go fully in because we've seen a few leeches. Yeah, they said there's big. leeches in here, yeah. so we're not going to risk it. <laughs> but also, it's a little chilly, it's a little windy out but today. I am so. going to clean my hair finally yeah. for the first time. Really refreshing. Getting a little break and uh, we're putting in a good pace, you know? So we'll see where we get to. As always, no rush. And uh, we got some extra snacks and stuff, so we're feeling good. Tune in soon. Check out our path. This is definitely giving me Tick City vibes, but it is beautiful. Still the same kind of lake that we were at before when we were washing off, just on a different side of it. But yeah, definitely want to do a tick check after this. Surprisingly, no ticks on this so far. It's sunny out. Oh yeah, the sun came out. Thank goodness. I see. So this is still the Namakanta Lake. We know we're mispronouncing it, but it is a beautiful lake. And um, there's this thing, there's coolers, and there's like also a tent site to the left here uh, with more coolers. And we were wondering, like, how did someone bring coolers over here? So we looked it up, and there's actually a road near here. So that explains it. Look how beautiful it is. Can't get over it. And I'm glad the uh, weather changed, because it was supposed to... There's a chance of thunder and rain. But look, just full-on sun. Great day. Walking down to the shelter. What a snake is he, Mike? Oh, it could be garden. Very coppery. We are nine miles in, hitting some really nice flat sections. And what do we see here? This is not natural. <laughs> A metal staircase, so random. I just want to butt slide down the railing, but that doesn't look like a good end. <laughs> yeah, leading to a stream. Very interesting. But uh, yeah, so we're pushing towards my shelter was supposed to be super nice and pretty, so we'll see when we get there. I'll show you guys. Right, see you in a bit.
Hey everybody, it is actually the next morning, day seven, but I want to give you guys a little recap of the rest of the night. We were kind of pushing pretty fast so we didn't get time to make the videos. Uh, yeah, we left a little pebble beach and we wanted to push on for about 4.5 more miles to get to a shelter. And then we'd decide there if we wanted to go another two miles to get to one that we read comments for was a little better of a camp spot. Get to that in a second. Uh, we pushed on, we found another pebble beach, a much bigger one. Uh, three people were spread out on there all bathing in the sun and reading books. Pretty cool to see. There were a bunch of northbounders. Uh, talked to one guy for a second. He was really nice. Um, yeah, then we, we pushed on, got those 4.5 miles in and our legs were getting pretty sore. Um, we got to that shelter. There were only two people there. Took about maybe 10, 15 minute break and we thought we could push on because like we said, we saw these comments and they said this other spot was really cool, really back in the woods and it was on, on the shore of this little peninsula where the water came in. And I'll just show it to you now because we did make it there. A uh, really cool view along this whole thing. You can see a whole shoreline in case there were any moose or bear. Um, yeah, we actually didn't see this till the morning. We got here nighttime and pitched our tent. It's one of those hard to do in the dark, eating everything. Um, but now I'm feeling good in the morning and is getting your stuff ready. And we'll probably do a little morning video here in just a second. But yeah, I'm feeling good. There were actually also a lot of wildlife noises last night. We were sitting there, we were hearing some grunting, some groaning, some uh, sneezing, definitely animal ones. Um, definitely heard some big thuds and footsteps. Uh, you know, that's, that's the wilderness for you, but definitely keeps you with one eye open at night sometimes. Um, still got some good sleep. Yeah, catch you guys on day seven.